The Ring Con 2 is one of the first second gen smart rings to appear on the market, and even with its small improvements, it's noticeable enough to see a difference in how technology is improving. But is it worth the switch, and how does it compare? Let's take a closer look. Thank you so much to RingCon for sending us a review unit of the Gen 2 Smart Ring. All thoughts and opinions are our own. They did not get to preview this video prior to us publishing it. You can check out our review of the original RingCon Smart Ring on our website at subnautics.com. Off the bat, there's both significant and minor changes that RingCon has updated in the second gen smart ring. In terms of size, RingCon 2 is 12% smaller in width and 23% smaller in thickness compared to its predecessor. While the ring is still larger than what many women wear for a traditional wedding band, users will definitely notice a difference in size and width between the two. I found this ring to have less noticeable sensors than its counterpart, making it more comfortable to wear in the day-to-day. -day. Colorways for the RingCon 2 are similar to its first gen. Options are silver, matte black, and brushed gold, and RingCon continues to be IP68 dust and water resistant. However, RingCon advertises Gen 2 as having an enhanced waterproof performance of 100 ATM water resistance as well. The build quality of the RingCon 2 continues to feel premium, made with titanium alloy and is PVD coated. I like the shine of the silver color that I currently wear, and it comfortably goes with virtually all my outfits, both casual and formal. One previous downside I had with the RingCon was how bright the sensors were and how noticeable it was at night in the dark. With the updated and thinner design, I no longer notice the sensors as much at night and don't see the flashing lights when wearing the ring. It's a small improvement, but one that makes the user experience that much better. When it comes to biometric tracking, RingCon 2 has a heart rate accelerometer, measures blood oxygen saturation, heart rate, respiratory rate, and perhaps the most exciting feature, continuous sleep apnea monitoring. While I thought sleep tracking on RingCon 1 was already quite accurate, there's more data and insight that comes with sleep tracking in this new generation of Smart Ring. I still appreciate the clean and easy to look at view when it comes to sleep stages, movement during sleep, and the sleep summary. Some of the text and descriptions can still sometimes sound robotic and a bit generic, but for the most part, the insights that RingCon provides in its app when it comes to sleep score are interesting to consider. RingCon is also actively pursuing FDA clearance for its OSA monitoring feature so that users can trust its sleep tracking and share back with their medical teams. According to RingCon, its internal lab was proved to deliver 90.7% accuracy, identifying obstructive sleep apnea. Some of the minor desires I had previously were also improved with the RingCon 2. While using the first gen smart ring, I felt like I had to open the app up every day so that data would sync regularly. This sync appears to happen much faster on the RingCon 2. Additionally, tracking for other biometric markers still appears for the most part very accurate, and easy to follow along with. RingCon also helps measure things like your daily stress score and can run menstrual forecasts as well for women looking to track their periods. Similar to its predecessor, the RingCon 2 still has the same concerns when it comes to fitness tracking. For those looking to track walks or step count, the ring is mostly accurate, but waving your hand around can still overcount steps, even by a little. For those who strength train or lift weights and want to track their workouts, it's still significantly harder to do while wearing a ring. You still run the risk of scratching the surface despite the durable material, and it can feel uncomfortable lifting heavy weights while wearing a ring. RingCon 1 was advertised to have about 6 to 7 days of battery life, but RingCon 2 has even more, averaging from 10 to 12 days. I was able to get 10 very comfortably and found myself loving the quick charge and incredibly long battery life. The RingCon 2 still comes with the same look and size charging case that's easy to transport and throw in a backpack for on-the-go charging. By far, one of the most impressive features of the RingCon 2 is its battery life and ability to maintain a charge with minimal effort. 
When users do need to charge the case, simply plug it in via the provided USB-C to USB-C cable and power it up. Rincon really is made for the everyday market and connects to devices via Bluetooth 5.0. It's a seamless and easy setup, getting users up and running quickly. The Rincon app is also compatible with both iOS and Android and syncs to Apple Health and Google Fit. While I've only used the Rincon app on iOS, it's been reliable for me and I get excited to see regular updates when it comes to the device itself. Another huge bonus is that there's no subscription required when it comes to the Rincon app. Using the app is free so long as you are paired to a usable Rincon ring. Seeing a second generation Rincon made me so thrilled to see how even small changes can make a big difference. If you own the original Rincon, it may not be worth it to upgrade, but for those who are considering a smart ring who don't necessarily need all the bells and whistles specific to fitness tracking, the Rincon 2 is a great and affordable option at $299 US dollars. With a fleshed out design and reliable free app, and features like sleep apnea monitoring and biometric sensors, it's well worth it to consider a smart ring to help track your everyday health. Let me know what you think of the RingCon 2 in the comments below and what other features that you'd like to see in smart rings. I'm Lena from The Hypnotics, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!